We begin tonight with more on the case surrounding a woman from Massachusetts arrested and charged with the death of her newborn daughter nearly four decades ago. At the time, Leanne Daigle was 21 years old and police say she left the baby girl in a northern Maine gravel pit on a night when temperatures dropped way below zero. State police say their cold case unit found Daigle through genetic genealogy and detective work. Tonight we hear from the couple who live near that gravel pit and whose dogs set off a chain of events that led to days of heartache for them and decades of wondering about that baby girl. New Center Maine's Carly Dion was the only television journalist to speak with that couple today. And Carly, I'm sure news of Daigle's arrest stirred up some vivid memories for them. It did, Amanda. Back in December 1985, Armand and Lorraine Pelletier were living in a modest home just a couple hundred yards from that gravel pit. Early one morning, their dog Paca woke them up, wanting to be let in from outside. Armand answered the door, and nothing could have prepared him for what he was about to find. I looked at his face and I could tell there was something tragically wrong. Lorraine Pelletier says her husband woke her up in the middle of the night, saying there was a baby on their front doorstep. As a medical assistant, she says she immediately rushed out to their porch, only to find that newborn baby was not breathing. This baby was a perfect little baby. I mean, she had a little dimple, she was just cute as a button, cute as a button. I don't know how she could do it. I just don't know how she could do it. The Pelletiers immediately called police. I was afraid they were going to take my dog away. And uh, they said, no, we're not going to take your dog away. Your dog safe, was trying to save this baby. In the days and months that followed, the Pelletiers haunted by the what ifs. One of the questions I asked them, I said, you know, if this baby had lived, would we have had a chance to adopt her? Because we're not able to have children. Lorraine says she always thought the mother of the baby came just over the border from Canada, not someone police now suspect to be from the same town. But it's too bad that she didn't ring our doorbell and say, I need some help. We've helped so many people in our lives. Decades later, the Pelletiers assumed the case would never be solved until last month when a detective showed up at their doorstep in Bangor. I just couldn't believe it. It's the last thing that I ever expected. Especially all, all this time that passed. Yeah, yeah. Lorraine says she plans to write Leanne Daigle, who police believe to be the baby's mother, a letter. Her main question? Why? How could you have left a little baby? Animals don't do that. She says the detective told her baby Jane Doe was buried by police in Bangor, and she asked if she could give the baby the name that will be placed on her gravestone now that she's been identified. He said, you know, would you have a name? I said, yes, I do. You know, and I said, I always had a name if I would have ever had a little girl. That name, a combination of her mother and Armin's mother's French names, Jean. Janelle. And now the Pelletiers hope justice is served. I just hope that she serves her time because I feel she needs to serve some time for it. The Pelletiers say they were told that the baby was buried in a numbered grave in Bangor. They hope they'll be allowed to put a name on that headstone and give her the burial she deserves. They say that may be the final piece of closure that they need after all this time. Amanda. All right, Carly, thank you. Certainly more to come from this.